Hello. Hello. Oh, wow. Maya. Spelled the same way as my daughter. What's up? How is everyone doing tonight? All right. It's crazy. I'm, I can't believe I've actually been live almost every night. It's wild. You guys are so inspiring and gives me something to look forward to as well. And uh, <laughs> I need long distance relationship advice. What do you think, sweetheart? Should we give someone long distance relationship advice? Ooh. Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm oh, good. What's your name? I'm Rebecca. Rebecca. I'm yes. Justin. Nice to meet you. Hi, Hi. Justin. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. You guys are relationship goals, Emily. <laughs> oh. You know, she knows how she said that to you. That's yes. You know what? It's it's that's very sweet, and we are we, we are very happy. You know but what? We you know are what? so far from perfect. But you know and what? I we hope are. people know that. Here's what here's here's what would make us relationship goals is that we do mm -hmm. the shitty work that nobody that you don't realize you need to do. That's the only goals part of that. Is. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Like communicate really well and everything. Um, definitely part I of it. I want to show yeah. you what I've been doing with my boyfriend since we're long distance he lives in Indiana and I live in North Carolina and we're going through this book it's called a year of us and it's like a question a day nice that's amazing and that's yeah it. and so oh, that's so cool yeah so we're trying to you know get to know each other have like date nights on like FaceTime and that's stuff awesome. like that long distance but how, yeah so what was your question because you need advice well what's your question well, it's we're now been dating for like a year and How old are I you? don't know. I'm 21. Okay. Yeah, we met in college. Um and the biggest challenge kind of in our relationship is the difference in religion and we're also ah. um different ethnicities. Um so he's an international student and so we're kind of trying to balance the whole thing with like um citizenship and different religion and different like blending of different families. So I wanted to know mm. if you guys had any experience with that, um, with your Baha'i faith. I think, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Um, yeah. So I don't yeah. know if you have any advice. We do actually. Let me just grab a chair and sit down. <laughs> Here. Um, <clears throat> well, we don't have, I mean, we personally don't have experience in, in two different religions, but when we right. met, um, we were, t huh? she, yeah, I was behind. She was, yeah, uh, Swede. I was nothing. I was like, you're, you're a typical Swede <laughs> that did not believe in religion or labels or God. I prefer to call it different things. So we were definitely, we had different ideas of what that was. Um, mm -hmm. But I think for us, um, we were not as different as we thought we were because we were both just like crazy seekers, always searching for the truth, wanting to learn, wanting to dig deeper, wanting to be deeply, deeply spiritual. Mm. And I think mm -hmm. in its core, that was the same thing. He had a name for it. I didn't. Um, mm -hmm. And then what I ended up doing was uh, just reading for like a year and a half and investigating the faith. And then I, I fell in love. The key, the key for us, but, I think, yeah. was I didn't need her to become a Baha'i, right? So I think that's the other thing is when you're reconciling a relationship where there's people of two different faiths, you got to be really honest with each other, right? So it's, does one of you need the other to become your religion in order for the relationship to work? And that's a mm -hmm. conversation that people push off into marriage mm -hmm. and then try to make it work because it's such a scary conversation. I found that sometimes the big conversations, the big questions, we don't want to answer because we might know the answer. 
And yeah. we're afraid of it. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, so, this, so sometimes like with the religion thing, it's really, it's a big question because if the truth is maybe you want him to be your religion or he wants you to be his religion, then you guys are at a crossroads. But in our situation, all I needed was for Emily to accept my faith mm -hmm. and right. for not, and to not ever get in the way of my relationship with God. Mm. If I could have had that, then I was okay. But if she didn't, if she like uh, was resentful of it or my time um, praying or service, like even praying together, I think you can pray with two different religions. Like, yeah, no, we like, have tried that. In, yeah, in, like mm. I absolutely believe that you can have an interfaith relationship and say prayers together, mm -hmm. right? That's it's all beautiful. going to the same place. Yeah. It just comes down to like, if you're willing to accept right. the other person's faith. And that's a thing that you guys got to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think also like a big thing to work through is like the difference in our families in that mm -hmm. case, because, um, you know, both our families adhere to the different religions. And so like, particularly my mom, I know is very strongly wanting me to like probably marry within my same religion, I guess, to like prevent having some of those like conflicts. Um, so well, just remember something, your mom's not the one getting married. You are. Yeah. Right. We don't marry for our parents. We marry for ourselves. So remember that it's mm -hmm. really important. doesn't matter what religion you are, what faith you are, what culture you're from. I think, I think, and you tell me what you think, but I think religion and culture tends to get intertwined because religion looks different in every culture. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of cultural implications Stuff and reasons in why religion, right. like yeah. they're embedded in religion that have nothing that has nothing to do, to do with, with the faith with their the religion faiths. Achman had a good question what are the faiths what are your guys's faiths um i'm christian and he follows jure which is a japanese tradition oh cool oh, japanese wow. religion mm, but he's I... argentinian actually so oh wow yeah oh that's so cool i've never heard of that actually mm-hmm but the key, I think, is really, really communication cool. because had yeah. I forced her or like been, yeah. oh, I won't marry you if you want, I highly doubt you would have probably ever even been interested enough to look it up because she would have felt the pressure. No, no, no. yeah, no, that pressure would have made me would have made me run. But because that there was no pressure whatsoever, that made me really curious, and I knew that um, if we were ever going to be serious and this was obviously at the beginning of our relationship, I knew I'd seen enough to just deeply, deeply respect his faith and who he was in it and what it meant to him. Um, and I loved his passion for it. I loved how he connected with people within the faith. And it was just, a, it was just such a beautiful thing to me. So I always knew there was something that I would deeply respect. And then of course, I mean, if you get, really serious you begin to talk marriage and children then there's mm -hmm. the question of how do you want to raise your children yeah, you know definitely. um so it was definitely easier for us <laughs> just the fact that i i fell in love with the baha'i faith and i became a baha'i mm -hmm. so when we got married we knew how we wanted to raise our children mm -hmm. um i'm not sure what that would have looked like if i was not a baha'i um you know, but it, it just goes back Some to things, communication yeah. and what you what you need for it to work for you and what he needs for it to work for him. And it's what you said in the beginning, communication. Yeah. And and asking those questions now. Yeah, you know? and I think I've I've definitely kind of like thought about it and like struggled. It also like comes down a lot to like the heart and like if you have the same heart for people and the same heart for like making the world a better place, then I feel like some of the the laws in religion kind of are more for a human sake than for like the heart's sake, so. Mm. Well, follow your heart. I mean, it all comes down to that. It all comes down to your heart and following your heart, you know? And mm -hmm. if you guys come from that place, that pure place of following your heart, then anything can be worked out, no matter how hard it seems or how big of a mountain it is. True. Thank you. How oh, do you it's guys... so nice to meet you. Um, thank you. Okay, go ahead. You guys, how, do you, how do you guys what? You gonna, you um, want... uh, I'm going to say, like, um, pertaining, like, 
I guess like long distance like have you guys ever done like long distance I know you probably um work well, a lot we, so you have a rule mm -hmm. um I think what was it, it was it like a 10 day rule but no more than 14 I think there's a the it's two <clears throat> weeks probably but that hasn't happened since we were engaged yeah yeah I don't have Um, the long distance thing. I mean, good for you guys for doing it because I know it can be really, really hard. But you know you what's awesome about together. it? What's awesome about it is, yeah. so in the Baha'i faith, we're told that uh, dating is is investigating someone's character, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, like, what would dating look like if you took all the all the stuff kind of matches you with another person off, and you truly looked at someone's character, and like that was the reason you dated. Mm -hmm. And when you're in a long distance relationship, in some ways you're forced to do that. Right. Right. Because you don't have no, no like, distractions. There's no distractions. It's like it's all about the other person and their character, and like, awesome. mm -hmm. and the physical longing is there, but like you don't get to like lose yourself in all the sexy parts of dating. Like you're, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. you can get creative. I'm sure that you know, <laughs> that's between you guys, but really, like, it's a chance to investigate. <laughs> Kudos to you guys. And it's yeah, like, so great. My, mom always, my mom always said this. My mom always said, um, uh, distance is to a relationship like wind is to a fire. It'll either kindle it or it'll burn it out. That's so true. Yeah. We have been long distance for about like eight months. We met in college and then he transferred. And we have about a year left until we both graduate, and then hopefully, if Amazing. if his you know visas keep working out and stuff, then he'll be able to stay, and then hopefully we'll you know eventually be in the same state. But um, mm. awesome, yeah. we'll keep going. Follow your heart, okay, communicate openly you. and with love. You're on the right thanks path. So We're so much. wise for being <laughs> so 21. Wise. Yeah, so thank wise. you. Yeah, I so I value like relationship talk a lot, and like I've thought about. Mm you know, being interested in being a therapist someday or something. You'd so you're talking therapist. about you're a lot about on my Instagram. So you're so, you'd be we a need great good therapist. therapist. And I'm just, I'm just <laughs> almost done with my book and I've written a whole bunch about our dating and love life mm -hmm. and like our experience and um you know, I I've been really enjoying like digging in and going deep in that area. So thanks for giving us the chance to talk about it. Well thank you for you take a, me out. You wanna take a picture? Yeah. yeah absolutely together please thanks you're so, so nice to meet so you nice you're awesome you. so you're, nice to meet you guys too yeah. yeah all right this bye. is awesome bye. okay bye when is the book coming out i haven't even announced it officially yet <laughs> <laughs> so i can't tell you when it's coming out um, I got a whole bunch of questions about asking what our faith was. I'll give you like the quick, I'll give you like the 30 second version. The Baha'i faith um, is the most recent of the world religions. And effectively, we just believe that there's one God and all the religions fundamentally agree. They've come at different times and different places based on our capacity as a human race to understand. It's like kindergarten through eighth grade. All the, t all the teachers know the same thing, but they just give us little bits when we're ready. Um, and the central theme of our faith is love and acceptance and kindness unity. and service and unity. The idea is like we are ready as a world to become one, to be, to get past all of the other isms and all of the isms in general, and see ourselves as one, mm -hmm. that we should prefer um, uh, for our neighbor for ourselves, that we need to start expanding our horizons and realizing that what happens to one part of the population is also afflicting us and we can't turn a blind eye. And we believe in universal love and the idea that God is all loving and all knowing and it's all between us and God. Um, so that's the, and it's Rizwan, which is the, which is a yes, very special Rizwan. Baha faith. So to any Baha'is watching, uh, <laughs> happy Rizwan. And yes, Baha'is believe in Jesus. All right, here we go. We got you. Yo. Ba, ba, da, 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 da. 
let's go down because one second. 